A pig who was up for adoption from the Humane Society of the Pikes Peak region is now living high on the hog with his new family. He is, and we first introduced you to Mr. Wilson, the pig, last night. As we found out today, he may be the first pig who will have to get used to living a life on the farm. You'd think for a pig, hog heaven would be far from the hustle and bustle of the city. In fact, maybe about an hour's drive east of Colorado Springs, just outside the town of Callahan. Mr. Wilson! Mr. Wilson! But Mr. Wilson is a city pig. Come on, Mr. Wilson. Come on. He's just getting adjusted. Come on, Mr. Wilson, come on. It's a whole new life for a pig hand-raised inside of a home in Colorado Springs. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't want to go out there. <laughs> I pet him just like a dog. It's another like dog. But he oinks. <laughs> Chris Richardson saw the story of Mr. Wilson, a pig up for adoption, because pigs like him aren't allowed inside the city limits of Colorado Springs. And I was like, oh, I want the pig. You got to go get the pig. And like a good husband, James did, winning the drawing for Mr. Wilson to bring him to his new home. He's got 40 acres to run on. He's got a bunch of horses and llamas and alpacas and goats to hang out with. There will be some getting used to the other animals with Mr. Wilson. Pretty good. Uh, the, my dogs aren't, uh, they weren't too keen on him yet. And the Richardsons with Mr. Wilson. I'm not sure how potty trained he is yet. But Mr. Wilson is eating up all the attention from his new family who aren't just trying to fatten him up. Hey, we might have a barbecue, but it's not barbecue pig. This is a happy tale, T-A-I-L, after all. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty cool. And Mr. Wilson has company getting used to the farm life. His new adoptive family just moved from the city themselves to the country this past spring. Jason.